with long from different speakers so i must pleasure to tell all the students we have created one innovation club in our regional center of bhuvaneswar so we request all of you if you have any idea or you have any thought process or you want to showcase your any innovation is there then you are welcome because ncit regularly conducting different kind of programs so today's talk topic is lean in your ideas with mission and strategy so our speaker satyabal patra sir thank you thank you is a software engineer is a motivational speaker and he did is llb mba and he is a really good human being with very short notice he accepted our invitation so i must thanks to sir and also our senior general director he is all the time all the time is motivating to conduct this kind of webinar how our students will learn lot from this kind of webinar and you are giving extra incentive for this to our learners to understood the different kind of what's happening in the world so with these words once again i welcome all of you and now i request our official to play a cool game Thank you. 
Dr. Pawnigrai, I think the cool gift is over. Dr. Pawnigrai, are you able to hear me? That is muted, sir. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, yeah. now, now you are audible. Mm -hmm. Now I am request our my colleague Dr. P.K. Jana to introduce our guest. Acha, acha, one second. Uh, was the cool mm -hmm. gift audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Audible, sir. Okay, good afternoon to everybody. And uh, I welcome all of you to this webinar. This uh, Honorable Senior Regional Editor, Dr. S.K. Tripathi, sir. Respected Chief Speaker, P. Satyabhata Bhattar, sir. Respected uh, Deputy Editor, Dr. S.K. Panigrahi, sir. And uh, Dr. B.C. Nanda, sir. All other respect, respected dignitaries, my dear colleagues, dear learners and friends. Today, we are very fortunate that we have received a renowned speaker, Mr. sir, and uh, we are very much thankful to him for accepting our invitation and joining this program. So, I welcome him on behalf of Ignu Asibhuvan, sir. I welcome him to this webinar. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your a uh, kind of person in conducting this webinar and you are since you have joined you since you have accepted our uh, invitation and joined the meeting so we are very much thankful to you now let me briefly introduce mr satyabhata patra sir Dr. Bhattu Prasar has 20 plus years of professional experience in IT, MNC and uh, retail marketing sectors. Being an IT project, he has delivered in the post of man man manager, project manager and he has very, very much in communication, analytical study. He worked as a project manager, delivery manager, Test manager and service lead. Am I audible? Am I audible? Hello? Yes, yes, you go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. You are audible. Okay. He has worked as a delivery manager, project manager, test manager, and service manager with SAP solution architect, etc for various SAP engagements in India and overseas like Netherlands, Sweden, Germany, UK and Malaysia, etc. 
He has coordinated and hosted more than 20 plus public speaking with ECS and outside, which includes subjects like goal, goal setting, rediscover yourself, power of safety, power of subconscious mind, and push and change your life, etc. He has also authored two books like Me and My Show, and another one is The Missing Smile. Yes, he is the owner of one, owner of and pop, uh, owner of uh, the professional blog sites, and he has more than 500 plus blogs in social media. Trained 500 people in SAP sales and distribution distribution language. He is very positive thinker, and uh, he is a very good motivator. So. And his favorite statement is, the purpose of life is to understand the purpose of life. So, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And we need the people like you, so that you can motivate our learners to go ahead, to go in the right path, and to choose the best opportunity out of the worst situation. So, I think you are the best speaker for this uh, platform. So I welcome you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you for accepting our, advance, our, our invitation. And I, and, you, and I welcome you to this meeting, sir. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Prabha, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you very much uh, for having me here. So it's a short notice, uh, but uh, I accept it because this is my hobby. So I took a leave from my uh, organization. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. So, am I, am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, audible. Just wait, 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 sir. So, we'll have a good one. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, now I'm request our regional director to welcome, give him the welcome address. Over to sir, please. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Panigrahi, Dr. Jena, Dr. Nanda. Uh, let me first of all welcome our speaker today, Dr. Satya, Satyaranjan Patra, who is very much available with us and uh, is going to deliver the talk on the decided topic, which you all know. You all know that uh, Indira Gandhi National Open University is uh, at the moment the largest open university in the world. It is operating with uh, the help and support of 67 regional centers across the country and more than 2,000 study centers operating within the boundary and outside the boundary of the country. There are nearly 3 million learners enrolled every year in this university and lakhs of students are qualifying every year. University has set up a center and that is called National Center for Innovation in Distance Education, popularly known as NCIDE. Under the direction of NCIDE, all regional centers are organizing various activities under Innovation Club. All regional centers have an innovation club and through this innovation club various activities are organized around the year and today's seminar is one of one uh, such activities that uh, we are organizing especially for the learners and the academic counselors of ICNO. Today's program is being recorded and it will be put on YouTube so that any learner who wish to watch this program can watch it very comfortably. You all know that Bhubaneswar Regional Center is completely dedicated to the educational development of students of our state. We are running at the moment 82 learner support centers under Bhubaneswar Regional Center only and nearly 30, uh, 35,000 learners are benefiting every year through this regional center. Good number of counselors are associated. Good number of experts 
because we have prepared a resource pool and this resource pool is suitably utilized in providing academic support to the learners of various categories. And we have been successful quite a bit in our mission of reaching the unreached. Uh, due to COVID, majority of the programs are offered through uh, online mode. That means the academic counseling, counseling services are provided to the learners through online mode. And re only recently, university has decided to conduct offline classes also, keeping in view, uh, you know, the learners enrolled in such in, in some programs. And our endeavor is to see that all the learners are properly supported. All the learners are properly helped in whatever way it is possible. Regional Center and all study center staff members are fully dedicated to the cause of the learners. We are having ample support from the local resource persons. We are having ample support from the government departments. And there are many non-governmental departments also, NGOs, what you call NGOs. NGOs are also supporting in one way or the other in spreading education in our state. Uh, in a sense, I would say that uh, uh, Odisha region is one of the largest beneficiaries. This region is one of the largest beneficiaries of IGNO. Almost all academic programs offered by IGNO are available here and they are offered through the learner support centers. There are quite uh, a few professional organizations also who are extending their support in conducting our practicals for the learners. So it is a kind of, uh, you can say, uh, collaboration, cooperation, and convergence. Many organizations are collaborating with IGNO and through them, we are able to provide or we are able to offer our program successfully to the students. And friends, I'm very happy to say that IGNO's learners have uh, you know, become quite successful in their future, uh, in their career. And uh, quite a good number of learners are now placed in overseas countries in various uh, important positions. And in India also you will find uh, the learners of Odisha are well placed. Those who have qualified from uh, you know, various programs of IGNO. So I'm very happy to uh, you know, see the success of the success rate of the students of Odisha. And it has become possible because of the support of our academic counselors and all stakeholders. Uh, today's seminar is uh, dedicated to uh, the Innovation Club. Uh, you know, it, it, it is based on the direction from the Innovation, uh, the, the Center for Innovation in Distance Education, NCID. And uh, through Innovation Club of the Regional Center, we are organizing this seminar. And the idea is to showcase the innovations of the students of IGNO uh, because you know we are sending monthly reports to IGNO headquarters about whatever innovation activities are taken up by our learners and they are properly documented showcased and they are uh, uh, you know uh, what should I say if, if any student has done any important innovation in his or her Interest, interest, interested fields, the student is invited to uh, in the headquarters for presentation and they are properly awarded. So that is what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, taken care of by NCID and Regional Center of Upanishad. Today's topic is a very unique topic and this topic would definitely add to the innovation ideas of the students. And that is the reason why our academics from this regional center have uh, rightfully chosen Dr. Patra to deliver a talk on innovation, isn't it? Lean, lean in your ideas with uh, you know, a vision and uh, uh, support. <clears throat> we'll be very... Uh, happy to listen to him because he is a very experienced person as i am given to understand by my colleagues 
so he is right with us and uh, he will speak on that and uh, whatever queries you will have uh, he will take off one after another after the end of his presentation so till such time please wait and listen to him so now it is over to dr patra thank you thank you sir for your kind words and inspiration to our students so now i request to our speaker today dr sambit i mean satyabrat satyabrat patra so i welcome you patra sir and over to you sir thank you very much thank you sir and this topic uh, lean in your ideas with a vision and strategy i combine into two 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 part one is soft skill another is market and demand skill so once i'll go through the ppt you can able to understand how much soft skill is required whether you are going for a work study or any startup or any starting for a business let me share my screen are you able to see my screen are you able to see my screen yes yes it is visible fine so so i have an immense pleasure to share my view points on this topic lean in your ideas so it the a vision and strategy because in many of my session are different this is a blending of you know soft skill plus market demand skill how students should think about how they should react how they should connect how they should pass on their ideas to next person next organization or let's say consumer so those aspect i have tried to touch upon let me take you to the next so you know we have ideas we have thoughts in daily basis you can say thousands of thoughts breeze through our mind every day on an average day the average person has can think about 60000 thoughts in a day that's according to dr fred luskin stanford university the one study i found i thought i quote it over here 90% are repetitive in nature throughout the day or from the previous day nowadays you know yesterday we we are able to control remote satellite like chandrayaan 3 for a safe landing but unfortunately we are not able to control our own mind controlling our own mind is too difficult nowadays to control a remote satellite so controlling mind is essential for our success because great ideas great thoughts are having heavily depends upon controlling mind if mind is control what next thoughts are control if thoughts are control your words are control if words are control your actions are control if actions are control your habits are control if your habits are control then attitude is control if attitude is control there will be a definite success in life and business any small idea first time do not sound great but if you think about them in the future they'll sound better and large in order to be the big company of the future you have to start it now just giving one example if you thought about google in 1999 you'd have probably thought it's very much ridiculous who will think about search engine but nowadays google is a very big company in the world so it means any thoughts any ideas are coming are always welcome all positive thoughts are always welcome so let us think what is going on on with you i will be giving you two picture 
and you have 60 seconds. So one picture is pen and uh, uh, surface or pan top or laptop, whatever it may be you think. Now, let's say this is our university. Now you have 60 seconds. Now what comes to your mind when you hear work or study? Please use your sticky notes, pen and paper in front of you, whatever you have. And write down as many words you can think of. So, sir, time starts now. So, you have only 60 seconds. Uh, please write down a couple of words which is related to work or study. Your time starts now. Tick tock. Please note down somewhere because we'll draw a pattern. Five seconds. Time up. So now see, you ask yourself because you have written some words. You ask yourself. Pass the sticky notes to your right side of the table. Just put it in front of you. Can you ask? Cluster the similar words in the group. What pattern, what trends are you seeing? Are you connecting something? Are you connecting any dots? See, these people are scattered here and there. So these are just like my words, whatever I have written. Are you connecting something? If no, it's fine. If yes, park it. What is your idea? Who is your customer? What problem are you solving? What business model do you think you would use? So you should ask such type of question. If you are going for a startup or going for a business or you, you can establish yourself in the market, you should ask. These four questions you should ask yourself then and there. So you park your sticky notes, whatever word you have written, will touch once I'll finish up my lecture. Sometimes data speaks because what data speaks, 90% of Indian startup fails in, in the first five years. This is research studied by IBM Institute of Business, Business Value Oxford in Economics. It means why it is failed because 70, 80% because of cash problem, almost 14, 15 percent due to not reading customer well, not reading in the need of the customer. 10 percent fail in the first year itself. 20 to 30, 40 percent fail because of uh, uh, misleading the market or you can say uh, out of money funding problem or 28 percent almost because of other issues like price, cost, unfriendly product, poor marketing etc etc so question is why why we are not uh, you know coming up because there are a lot of money now government is sponsoring but still very few company are coming up with up to speed reason lack of exact needed innovation lack of exact needed innovation what exactly market is demanding what exactly customer is asking? What is the need of the customer? What the interest of the customer? 
what the concern of the customer, what the expectation of the customer or consumer. We are not studying that. What we are using, we are just copy and paste. You see Alibaba is successful. WhatsApp is successful. Facebook is successful. Airbnb is successful. Uber is successful. Apple is successful. What we are doing? We are just copying and pasting into new venture. Even if the US strategy or UK strategy, we are just copying into India, Indian market. But the question is why? Why we are not going to the ground reality? So I thought I club my 3S and 3C lean strategy. It will help you to identify. Right? So let's see. So whenever we are thinking about any, any startup, I, we should have a business model. We should inno innovation on the customer money making model. Customer money making means what customer want. Let's say if, if my customer will earn the money because of my solution, then my, my job is done. Positive cash flow, positive working capital. In Indian startup, 90% cases, we are lack of positive cash flow. Always we are in the negative cash flow. How to improve that? Deployment of talented manpower. Talented manpower means the person should have high will, high skill. Let's say, uh, you know, that uh, the person should, uh, you know, uh, that enthu should be there. There are multiple factors are there for the talented manpower. We are missing that. Then scalability with the recurring revenue model. Scalability means, let's say, my idea should be small. My idea should be simple, but it should be scalable. Scalable, global, global presence is required in order to make it successful. Recurring revenue model. Recurring means my revenue should come because if I will not acquire new customer, then the existing customer retention should be there and revenue should come then I can maintain my sustainability. Then mixed marketing signal correct positioning. Market segmentation we are not doing. I'll, I, I have a couple of slides I'll discuss on that because I'll not push you in the more into the uh, Philip Kotler marketing and all, nothing. I just day-to-day -day activity, how we can change your ideas, how we can change our perception. That exactly I'm trying to highlight. Sometimes we are bringing the product very late. So right time, right positioning is a matter. Sometimes we are not converting all the feedback of the customer to the feed forward. It means the customer saying, hey, your product is not good. Uh, but still, we are not listening. So whenever you will not listen, your feedback, and when you no will not convert those feedback into feed forward, then growth will not happen. Then business model and complete ecosystem. If your solution provide a good ecosystem, then your job is done. Think about Android. Think about YouTube. It's a biggest ecosystem. It means till the time people will do innovation, YouTube will be there. Android will be there. So similar kind of thought, similar kind of idea, if the solutioning is coming with that, and definitely it will help. But if I put the three S here, small idea should be very small. I have a problem. I have a small idea. And it should be very simple, easy to understand. Third is should be scalable. So small, simple and scalable. Next is 3C, connect, convey, and convince. Connect to whom? Connect to my customer. Connect to my consumer. If I am disconnected with my customer, disconnected with my consumer, how much I am trying to convey the message through product or services, the customer or consumer will not be convinced. So first thing, my product or services should connect with the consumer or customer. Similarly, think about in a personal, uh, you know, that era. If you are disconnected with your professor, 
how much you are trying to convey your message, he will not convince. The first thing, spend time, how do I connect with my professor? But connect is a bigger aspect. If I am connected, then 10% convey, 100% convince. The question is, how do I connect? I have uh, my PPT, then there we can discuss more. So let's say I have 3S, I have 3C. Understood. Now, what else is required? I need energy. I need continuous improvement, continuous development. That enthusiasm is required. So I need a dog, D.O.G. I need a cat, C.A.T. So dog. Dog means what is my driver of growth? What can drive me? Then once I'm driven, then continuous assessment and transformation is required for my business or for myself. So dog and cat, the two aspect, one will provide energy and another will provide continuous assessment. Continuous assessment means, let's say, uh, I can understand what is my critical thinking, what is my collaboration, what is my communication, what is my creativity. These are the four, five C's are available for continuous assessment. So nowadays people are thinking about DevOps, people are thinking about CICD approach, continuous integration, continuous development. If you have problem, work in agile, work there, then in there, find out the solution and go for it. So those type of uh, market is demanding. So for that reason, if we will go for 3S, 3C with DOG and COT approach, then then follow this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and many more, and many more. Then definitely will make a belief system for the correct process. Then 101% success will come. So now, now see how to identify the burning problem. That is the major aspect. I have a customer. I have a consumer or I have my professor. How do I connect with him? How do I connect with my customer? How do I connect with my consumer? So you have to identify the burning problem of the consumer or customer. What burning problem actually? Identify what is his need. Then identify what is his interest. Identify what is the concern. Like, okay, audience attention. What is the audience attention? If I'm speaking something, you have certain in your mind, hey, he will come one hour lecture. I expect this X, Y, Z from him. If I will not touch you, what will happen? They will say, okay, one way wasted. No. First thing is, how do I connect with you? What is your burning problem? If I touch those points, I'm connected. If I'm connected, then convey convenience will be very easy. So see this, customer has need, customer has interest. Now customer has concern and expectation. Now I have to read NICE nice of customer. Need, interest, concern, and expectation. Now connected. Once nice is under, understood, I am connected with the customer or consumer. So, I, now I understood need of the customer, interest of the customer, concern of the customer, expectation also. Let's see. Now this customer, now nice is understood. Fine. So nice is understood means I am connected. What else? So I have to convey my message to customer or consumer through my product or my services. If no product, no services, you are connected with your professor, it means you understood what exactly his expectation, his interest, his concern, his expectation. Now you are connected. Now 10% convey, 100% convince. So let's see. Now convey. Now you are convinced. So moral of the story is, When the nice is understood, you are connected. Once you are connected, then convey convince is very easy. 
So one mistake we used to do, whether in a product or services or in personal relation, we are avoiding the connection. So connection, you need a connector to connect. So you need a connector to connect, adapter to adapt. So once the connector is established, let's say you have a plug, you have a socket, connection is established. Then the electricity will come. So similarly, when you are connected, then convey convince will be very easy. Then you can move forward for the success. Till now understood? Okay. So now understand deeply in the startup point of view, what exactly business businessman want, what exactly customer want. Let's say I'm a startup owner. What I want? I want profit. But simultaneously, I have to see who are my consumer, who are my end user, how I can help them because they have a burning problem. Am I able to solve that problem? So you have a businessman, you have a customer. Now, now businessman think about how I can generate more money for customer. If customer will adopt my services like Ola, or Uber, I made a software. Now all the customers are connected through software. They earn more money through this software. It means customer burning problem was they were not getting customer daily basis and uber ola came they connected all the driver and the consumers now every day they're getting ample of business so customer money making model understood so now i, I have to understand i have to understand the profitability liquidity productivity growth revenue brand equity velocity all the aspect of the customer my software is related to customer once you will use reuse then the revenue will be more growth will be more velocity will be more brand equity will develop definitely i'll earn money so how same i'm going for nice so basic concept is nice need interest concern expectation of the customer now need needs are understood so now needs understood now this is the burning problem and this is the solution i'm thinking about to generate which can solve the problem then then as a startup what is my objective my objective is define a vision and mission and create a product or services as per consumer needs already i discussed assure right people right skill should be in the place, right technology should be in used. Because technology has, nowadays AI is used. If I will not use AI, then I will be leg gear. So right technology will be used. In holistically, you see there is a problem and here is a solution. So identification of consumers or customers bonding problem is the first step because we have a nice theory. NIC theory through which I can identify the problem. Now question is whether customer is going to solve their problem by himself or themselves or they need external support. If customer cannot solve the problem by themselves, here we need external support. Fine. Will your product or services provide that support? That is the second point. Will my product or services provide that type of support? If yes, create mission vision and do the market segmentation, market study. It means understand the market, positioning the product and services through market segmentation, understand customer, technology, competition, and organization. Then your, your job is done. I identified the problem, identified the solution, now prepare the vision mission, now I have segmented the market. Fine. This is understood. Now, I'm not going much more in the management, uh, you know, deeper into the management, only the, uh, you know, soft skill with some part of how a layman can able to understand. See, sometimes customer also hide 
I don't know what I want. Customer have latent needs. They do not even know what they have. Second, customer struggle to articulate their needs. I'm struggling to articul articulate my need. Customer wants to know what they want until they see it. Seeing is believing. Once I see, I'll use it. So that type of customer is also available. It is impossible ever to know all the customer needs because needs are always inside the mind. Now, customer needs to change quickly over time. Customer needs regular interval is changing. Earlier, I was using normal phone. Now I'm using Android. Now I'm using etc. etc. So a lot of things are changing. So how to identify? How to identify the market? How to identify the customer? So then your product should be like this. You identify market, identify the problem, then produce product one as per the customer need, service one as per the customer need, product two. Product two will be produced that is extension of the product as per PLM. PLM means product life cycle management. When it is required, I can introduce product two. So that exactly management funda, then I'm not going deeper. So I got a product. I understood customer need. I got a product also. And that product is uh, will solve the burning problem of customer. Fine. So now, what is my business model? How to run the business? What? Because without direction, if you are going, let's say how fast you can go without direction, you will be landed with the wrong address. That is pretty sure. So you need a, if you want a good business, you need a business model. Business model means what? Who is your key partner? What are the key activities? What are my key resources? What is my value proposition? What is my customer relationship? What are the channels? How my product will reach to the customer? What are the customer segmentation? What is my costing? What is my revenue? So there are a lot of questions you ask yourself. Then you can make a separate strategy for them. Each value proposition, each uh, activities, you need a separate structure, strategy for that. So let's say I define customer. I got my target audience. I have my feature. I have added all the problem in my features. Now, what are the rational benefit and emotional benefit I'll be getting? Let's say, uh, what are the benefit I'll be getting? I have want a desire. So my want desire, how will it reciprocate to the opportunity? So let's see the next slide. I have fear. Because I don't know if this product is good or bad. It's a new product. All startup, it's a new product. I have some needs. I have some wants. That fear, if I can experience through my product, hey, let's say certain problem has been solved. There are 5,000 people are there who already cured from this product. Then what will happen? It means fear will be converted into experience your need will be converted into features. Now, your wants will be converted into benefits. If I convert those aspects into business point of view, experience, benefit, and feature, then my value proposition is on. Then I am connected. So very, very easy to convey and convince. So now you should know which market you are targeting. If I'm a startup, you should know what kind of market is who are the person i'm targeting what is the age group of the person gender of the person you know that those aspects you have to go for the market study let's say you have a targeted market you have boys and girls you have um, lot of people are available now you think about age think about hobbies think about interest think about uh, location think about occupation Think about income, think about gender and values. So you have to think I'm positioning the product to the particular market where 0 to 20 age group are affected. Then your strategy and your plan, business plan will be related to that. So this is 
This is called your market segmentation on the basis of age, hobbies, location, income, etc., etc. So you can read in the MBA there are lot of uh, uh, marketing strategy are available. You read that. But majorly, if you are going for a startup, so your product is lean to what? Which type of customer you are focusing? Which age group you are focusing? And which gender you are focusing? So you have to think about that. Once your market segmentation is done, determination is done, then come to price. The price is the also one factor because see, I have a need that is clear, but if price is too high, your product will not, unless until your USP will be good, user selling, you know, that uh, the proposition is good, your market uh, the benefit are more as compared to price, then, mark, then uh, it will go like Apple. So, so I'll discuss that. So see that how price, when you do the market segmentation, either geographic, demographic, psychographic, or behavioral. So which kind of uh, market you are just looking for? Let's say country-wise, nation-wise, state-wise, city-wise, or age, gender, sex, family, education, etc. Or you are going for lifestyle, social, class, personality, etc. Or behavior like your attitude, loyalty, okay, etc. etc. So it means I am just segmenting myself for a particular market because my I know my product USP. I know the need, interest, concern, expectation of the customer. On the basis of that, I can forecast. I can position my product. So now, how is the market size? So is it so big or is it worth solving? If I'm putting a lot of uh, uh, advertisement, so uh, is it worth, worthy or where exactly I'm selling or who I am competing? Let's say I'm competing with the bigger player in the market or not. So that also you have to think about. Your strategy should think about all the aspects. You have to go for market size, like market type, competitive analysis, uh, and uh, what type of market I'm focusing, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the pre-analysis you have to do when, when you are going for a new product or starting a startup or establishing a business and anything else. So now you have idea in the left hand side. Will your idea have more benefit? Let's say one idea have six benefit. Another same idea having two benefit. Which one you have to select? You have to select from the value proposition point of view. You have to think from customer point of view. I, what is the customer money making model? If this idea give more benefit to my customer, I'll stick to it because I know my product will uh, move. So those type of benefit versus target customer, you have to think about. Then everything is done. Now you have developed the product. You understood the customer, understood the market. Everything is done. Then you have to do a short analysis. In MBA, we, we say strength, weakness, opportunity, threat. So you have to see what is your strength? What is your weakness? What is your opportunity? What is your threat? So that parallel analysis you have to do in order to establish your product in the market. Then, then how exactly you will be achieving your uh, product development? Let's say you have to make, mention a timeline, deadline. Let's say financial year one or within a month or within a quarter. So as per your need. So you know I will releasing the product in 2024. Then backward processing, you can do that. Like what is my market assessment and positioning? When exactly I start packaging or labeling? When the trademark development? When product marketing? When product extension? When the regulatory submission? When the product monitoring evaluation? So each and every step, you have to make a deadline, timeline on the product development side. So once my product ready, let's say I'm part of startup or I, am I in the growth stage or in the maturity stage or in the decline stage. So these are the sometimes you could, if you see the product life cycle, 
so let's say i'm in startup stage then startup stage what more is required because see i understood the need interest concern expectation these are now gone because as a businessman i need profit how i'll get it because understanding of need interest concern expect i have spent lot of money so now i then this sales force will will provide you know more revenue to me then when to put and how let's say uh you see the startup startup uh should i put more sales force or less uh, sales force or if my growth is more should i put more number of people so you have to think about the permutation combination the rashi matrix will be there on the basis of that let's say skill resource is required here or later stage so that we have to see by the proper graph analysis let's say uh, in the first stage i have to go for a create awareness and generate quick product updates let's say i mean new product then user manual will be there then i can see okay these are do and don'ts will be there so as a new product uh, so i i have made this second is we have to penetrate in the market this is in a growth stage where more number of sales force will be required and specialized uh, resource will be required but resource allocation is okay i can manage with 10% resource so penetrating into deeper market uh, or existing segment or develop the new one so that is my growth stage then let's say product is mature let's say sales everything is done to so focus on you know efficiently sur- in service focus on the how to retain the existing customer rather going for the new customer let's say maintain my base by existing customer so those type of strategy you can use for the you know that uh, in maturity stage let's say product in decline stage let's say product graph is like this in decline stage so what you should emphasize on the you know relationship crm customer relationship and uh, let's say some some sort of bonus some sort of uh, you know free goods some sort of uh, you know loyalty program so you can use over there then suddenly your graph will increase so depending upon the situation depending upon your uh, uh, you know that uh, market uh, demand or your positioning on the market you can take the strategy so now let's say product is ready but how exactly i can uh, increase the efficacy of the product quality of the product let's say first i'll go for let's say consumer testing in a testing uh, era you can say consumer testing functional testing prototype lab testing development testing so every st- stage you have to test your project uh, uh, product let's say you take the sample test it test the sample test the efficacy take the sample take for the look and style or some price let's say spread in the market see whether people are accepting or not some psychological factor also there so you have to think about all the parameter in one go for your project to take a right decision at right time so that your product will not be leg guard your product will not be you know thrown out from the market or rejected by customer and i'm sure customer will not reject because you have understood the need of the customer you have understood the interest of the customer expectation and concern of the customer so you have already you know read the burning problem of the customer already and you have only one solution and without you customer will not solve that problem if that is the case you will more focus on the testing aspect my product is not matured it's fine but new but i know this product can solve the burning problem of customer so then i'll focus more on the efficacy more on the you know look style packaging positioning all, all sort of things i'll focus on more then you have your investor because when you go for simple and small it's okay when you go for the scalable you need investors you have money 
ABC money. You have already invested your own money, parent money. But now to expand, you need venture capital. You need something, uh, angel investor. You need government help. So XYZ is nothing but called investor one, investor two, investor three. So setting up your investment on the basis of for the scalable, scalability, scalability is concerned. Then once you, you uh, take the money from the investor, then you should have a financial plan. In FI1, financial year one, I will achieve 50%. In financial year two, let's say I will achieve 62%. It's an example. So like this. So you have to plan your financial accordingly. And the action plan should be made. Let's say if I will not achieve, what is my plan B? What is my plan B? If I am not able to achieve the, uh, the target which is set, because normal expenditure will be there. You have your uh, uh, fixed cost. You have your variable cost. You have your total cost. Then total revenue. So what is my BBP? It means break even point. So you have to find out that. So you see the graph, the break even analysis. Then economics, actually, uh, we used to see uh, BEV. That is, uh, this is if unit sold here, or sales is here. This is my fixed cost, my, my factory, my asset, everything. That's my fixed cost. Variable cost means uh, my raw material cost or my labor cost. I'm adding variable cost. This is my total cost. It means variable cost plus fixed cost equal to my total cost. And if I sell the product, this is my total revenue. If the gap is coming, definitely profit. If gap is less here, loss. It means my total revenue is less than total cost. Total revenue is less than total cost, then loss will be occur. Then I have to go, go for the loss leading strategy. Okay, how to recover the loss? So depending upon your uh, situation, you can take the call. Fine. So then let's say this is my business model. This is my offering to customer. Then market, uh, in mar market is very attractive. I have a unique solution. Then I have to monetize this, let's say profit model. Then sales performance model, I will uh, you know, put it. More number of sales people will be uh, used so that I can get more money and more sales, more money. Then last is sustainability. It means competitive advantages. Because once I'll bring the product in the market, competitor will come. They will come, they will copy and paste just like Uber, Aya, Ola. Let's say tomorrow Airbnb, Oyo. So like this, they'll copy and paste. So if your product is uh, good, has capacity of problem solving capacity, definitely somebody will copy and sell it in the lower price. Then how to retain or sustain? The sustainability is the one part, right? And when to exit? Let's say particular uh, brand, when to exit? Should I go for the product two, product three? So those type of strategy you have to look at. And what are the channels? How exactly I will be selling my product? Let's say I want to increase my revenue. So let's say through e-commerce, through direct selling, or through retail, through indirect selling, or through component base. Let's say a salesperson can sell direct selling, or uh, let's say online e-commerce, let's say retail shop are there, retailers, let's say indirect selling like, okay, distributor and etc. So like this, what is my channel? Channel means the product reach to my customer, the way product reach to my customer, whether it is wholesale or retail or direct sale, internet sale, flash sale, whatever it may be. So depending upon your requirement or customer need or market geography, you have to plan for your own strategy. So now, if I, I told you the product life cycle, the company life cycle also there. Let's say company also, you know, company wants to see the growth, some revenue target is there. How to achieve that? Because let's say initially you are doing R&D, now start off, now take off, now development, now maturity. Maturity means your product is stable. So Ola came, 
only with the um, app. Now Ola bikes are available. Now in future Ola car will also come. So this exactly the company life cycle and where you need external money. Let's say business angels, startup funds, venture capital, expansion capitals, MBO, LBOs. So you know that those who can buy my equity, my all sort of things will come. So then your CA can guide you how to generate the money. So this is also company life cycle you have to think about. So if I, if I go for the scalable model, then let's say I got the money. Where to spend? How to spend? Which area I should spend? Let's say if I am in a growth phase, so 55% you should spend in the marketing and 28% sell in the product development. 28 development means you have to increase the efficacy, increase your standard of the product. Then 17% for the key hire, high skill, high will, or you know that uh, uh, niche area, let's say AI, AI can. So I, we have to hire for, uh, you, you can go for hiring AI, AI associate, AI consultant, artificial intelligence consultant. So like this, spend money on the key hire, product development, and marketing and also you have to think about if my product is in a mature stage when to go for IPO when to go for acquisition when to go for merger those aspects also we can think about by discussing with my financial experts you know so because you know holistically you have to see all the aspect starting from the need ending with the fundraising Otherwise, you will not sustain in the market. So what will be sales strategy? It means my right people, right process, right capability. So right process, right communication, right capability, right technology. But nowadays, finding the right technology is fast. I can do, instead of 10 people, one AI can work it. But that AI will be maintain or manage by one skill person so right technology right capability right people right communication and right process is very much essential to increase the sale then what will be a roadmap how i can see myself in one year two year five year ten year down the line define your value proposition and core value for your company Accelerate automation productivity. Put some automation. Focus on customer satisfaction retention. Now I am in the growth phase. So I have to more focus on the customer satisfaction and retention. How to retain my customer. Then instantly recognize tools and process. AI tools, something available. Use that. Then go green whenever it's possible. Consider your backup is also. So focus on skill and technology and manage your cash flow and profitability. The end result is profit. I mean, if I'm a businessman, I need profit. So manage your cash flow. See, cash in hand is much more better than uh, check in hand. Because if you are getting a cash daily basis, then growth is, growth is parallel running. If you go for the only books account, let's say more number of checks will are coming, there is no cash. Definitely in future, you will be shortage of money. So manage your cash flow and profitability. If everything done, we are unstoppable. Nobody can stop us. Why? We are the best time of civilization. We have Jest and Jill and the desired talent and skilled backup with power of information. But something goes missing. Something is missing. What is that? Probably a push is required. What is that push? Because if you see, this is the pen. I know this pen will help in writing. If I not open up the cap, I'm not able to write it. That push is required to open up the cap. 
Always the inspiration lies in others' achievement. Hence, let connect and reconnect to march together towards a better place to live and work to make a difference. So, what is my keynote? When you will stretch your limit, the limit will expand. When you further stretch your limit, then expanded limit will be further expanded. When you further expanded, finally you will get to a limitless limit. It means no limit. So start the startup with that expanded limit. When you will have expanded limit, start the startup with good idea, with good thought. And try to identify what is the burning problem of the customer. And wh whether my uh, solution, whatever I am giving to consumer or customer, are able to solve that problem or not. But that is more important rather than doing all sorts of strategy. So initial connect is more to con convince for the product and services. So when we learn the focus of mind and control our thoughts, we can produce amazing results, whether in startup, in life or business, any, anywhere. You focus your mind and control your thoughts we can produce amazing result. So that's all uh, from my end. Sir, over to you. Uh, Am I able, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, if you can permit, Am if you, you can permit. Thank you very much, sir. I, I, sir, if you can permit, I can uh, take one minute more. One minute more. Do you have that one minute? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So, because one of the block I want to show people very helpful, and and people can take it to home. Go ahead, sir. This is not related to. Yeah. See the last PPT. Uh, I know I, I'm making people bored, but. Really, this will this you can take it to home. When to stop, when to start. If you can implement in your life and 100% sure, your life will change. See, small quote from my book, life is short, life is fast. No rewind, no replay. So these five timeless pearls of wisdom are definitely worth following. It can help you reduce your stress. Start doing only those stops that really matter because anyway, you cannot do everything. Stop trying to please everyone because anyway, you will fail for sure. 100% you will fail for sure. Start spending more time with people who love and care for you because anyway, your people list will be always limited. Stop bringing yourself down. Stop bringing yourself down. Because anyways, others will do it for you sooner or later. People will drag you. Abhi nahi to baad mein karenge. Live in the moment. Laugh upon. Be kind. Because you are the own first cheerleader. So enjoy your life. Reduce your stress. Focus on your ideas and thoughts. Thank you very much. I can stop presenting. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For your nice presentation. So now the session is open for the questionnaire. If any learner said any doubt. Any query, you can ask your question to sir. Anybody want to ask any question? No, sir. Go ahead. No, sir. Uh, so one question, question is there, I'm asking. This is Subhashree. 
yes sir yes sir one question is there i'm asking uh so just a, a single doubt like uh, whatever sir told us that is a great thing that uh, we could learn a lot of thing but one thing i just wanted to know ki study and startup both are different right at what time we are thinking that we will focus on study so how we will focus on startup as well like at what time uh, we can think about that as well yeah uh, can i answer this question sir so sure, sir okay uh, subhasi yes sir see, uh, multitasking multitasking is good not the cost of study so whenever you are focusing study let's say i have benchmark mba so i let me complete mba then i can go for other things let's say i have benchmark i a bit tech i will complete then i'll go for it so set your benchmark what is your goal on the basis of that if you want to go for a startup then study on startup point of view let's say you want to go for a startup and you have done btech then mtech then doing a job in a bank no use so better if you are going for a startup okay focus on let's say uh, graduation whatever you have done or btech you have done so go for a mba or uh, uh, let's say uh, something or uh, business management you can go for a business management they are uh, read the strategy market segment all the strategy you can read there then you can go for startup then it's okay but simultaneously doing startup as well as study i don't think we are so much capable to do, to do multitasking uh no sir that my question that uh, uh, yes yes sir, that i got it but what i'm sir, thinking ki at the same time no, see i'm also working sir right so sometimes it is happening ki i can start uh, thinking about it so that is my question ki how we will uh, like sometimes it comes to our mind ki uh, uh, we want to do something so how do we retain that thinking because okay. if we are focusing on study so we cannot retain some uh, thinking as well no L- let's say i'll give an example i am a software engineer right yes. i am studying yes, mca sir. or bca but i have a very good skill of uh, you know uh, uh, how to develop app you know right yes. so what i can do i can create a app that will be part of my study and that app is a freelancer app and that that can solve the burning problem of the customer so recently 10 year peop, 10 year guy uh, made made a revenue of 100 crores in mumbai he made a app for dabba wala you know dabba wala we connect all the dabba wala and he now their worth revenue is 100 crores so now question is how how you are motivated you know, what is your skill set how exactly you are solving the burning problem of customer so think about that you study and simultaneously if a passion is something do it parallelly right okay okay yeah thank you so much sir yeah thank you One, one you, more thing I would like to add. You see, see Doctor Panigre, please wait for a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. you know uh, I would like to add to uh, you know this particular uh, uh, aspect uh, which which was raised by Subhasri. You see, the NCID National Center for Innovation in Distance Education's uh, main objective is to uh, you know showcase the talent of the students. Uh, we know that you are busy you are uh, doing your job at the same time you are pursuing your studies but if you have any innovative ideas those ideas can be uh, you know put up in the form of a proposal and put up with the university so that it will be discussed there and there are many skill development agencies who are also working day in and day out to help the students in uh, you know starting uh, some innovative activities like this so uh, if that uh, gets materialized definitely uh, you will be called specially and uh, uh, you know uh, you know some some inputs will be given to you so that you can march ahead in your developmental activities the way you are thinking so this is how uh, you know things are moving in igno that is the reason why in uh, regional centers they have uh you know requested the regional direct to set up set up a innovation club is it it is a club innovation club to invite ideas if there is any new idea which is uh, you know there in your mind those ideas should be uh, put in black and white and pass pass it on to the cid for showcasing it because you know they are also bringing out with a journal 
and it will be reflected there in the journal. It might catch the attention of many people, those who are involved in this particular activities. So, you see, learning, the spectrum of learning is very broad. And, and uh, Dr. Patra has rightly said that, uh, you know, because, you know, ideas come, uh, you know, just like a lightning, isn't it? It comes, uh, you know, just like a flash. And if, if that clicks, you never know the entire life will be changed. And there are hundreds and thousands of examples like this. You must have heard about this Oyo, the, the, the inventor of Oyo, isn't it? He is a boy from Raigada. And now see what kind of business he is doing. And uh, Dr. Patra was, uh, you know, just giving the example of, you know, uh, a student of 10th standard. He is earning crores. So like that, if you if you uh, uh, think you will get hundreds and thousands of uh, you know instances like this, all right. So please, uh, you know, try to think the the way you are uh, you know trying to push yourself ahead and put up your ideas with us. We are here to help you out. This is the whole. Thank answer. you so much, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. And Subhashri, any ideas with, without yes, execution is an illusion. So uh -huh. all True, ideas sir. should be executed. I mean, great ideas. So if you have some ideas, you yeah. have forum. Actually, Igno has uh, really, uh, I'm surprised because uh, in my days, not there. But nowadays, you people are uh, blessed. So now you can put your innovation. People can help you. Right? Yes, sir. So, so I'll um, like carry forward the same thing. Thank you, sir. I mean, thank you, Lanas, for your curiosity and your enthusiasm, enthusiasm and you are attending this webinars. We are planning to do in every month this kind of webinar. So we request all of you to kindly join this kind of, I mean, kind of webinar for your organization. And now I request my colleague, Dr. Bimal Nanda, to tender a vote of thanks. Thank you, Dr. Panigrahi. It's a great privilege on my part to offer the formal vote of thanks to today's respected guest of speaker. I thank you from the core of, heart, my, uh, core of my heart, sir, for the time, for the qualitative time you have given to us, for your valuable time you have given to us despite your hectic schedule. And I am quite optimistic, quite confident that all participants have uh, gained immensely from the inputs that you have provided in the last uh, almost one hour. But this one hour will be our one month's learning. If we measure it by time, I think one hour will not be a sufficient term to describe the inputs we have got in the meanwhile. The input you have given in this one hour is more than the intellectual input we can acquire in one month in our life. So thank you so much, sir, for the precious time you have given to us. Thank you so much. And I, I thank all the participants, particularly our learners, for being with us all the while. They have always been inquisitive. They are always anxious to learn. So I convey my heartfelt thanks to all our learners for being with us in this short notice. Thank you, learners. Please be with us in our future intellectual endeavors also. Thank you once again. I extend my uh, thanks to our uh, director NCID, Sri O.P. Sarmanji, Professor uh, O.P. Sarmanji, for being the inspiring force behind this uh, monthly venture. I thank from the core of my heart, Dr. S.K. Tripathi, our senior region letter, sir, for his inspiring guidance, for his inspiring leadership for all this for all his leadership qualities for all his uh, qualities of leading from the front 
it has been possible for us to uh, arrange this intellectual sessions every 15 days 20 days thank you so much sir for your inspiring leadership and for your inspiring words i thank my colleagues dr s k panigrahi dr p k jena for being the uh, pivotal forces behind the arrangement of this webinar today thank you dr panigrahi thank you dr prabhat majena and i also thank all my colleagues from across the state centers and the regional center so thank you all for making this a wonderful intellectual endeavor thank you and uh, uh, i request now uh, our computer division to render the national uh, anthem Now the seminar is closed, so we'll be meeting very shortly with another important topic and with another, uh, you know, important resource presentation. In such time, we take leave of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir.